Except Pete. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a hot. That's a, that's 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 gonna be a hot take. Though. First of all, that shit is not a take at all. <laughs> hey, he said what he said. Oh, hey, look, oh, we we gonna chat. We gonna chat about. It. The second video, let's get to it. All right, welcome back to You Not Gonna Like This. This is episode C, 2000s rap. Um, first, like, like the last episode, groups first, solo act second, same format all the way through the whole series. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, starting from the bottom with the honorable mentions of the groups, we got Terror Squad, you know, Terror Squad, Fat Joe, Remy Ma, Lean Back, all those kind of. Uh, uh, my uh, niggas uh, don't dance. They just pull up their pants. Pull up pants. And and when they do, do they lay back with it. Back in two, you know, back in 2007, you know, that's 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 when everybody was in the backseat, all of us jamming to it when it came on the radio, when mom was playing it in the car, stuff like that. Stuff Actually, is... I've always been in the front seat. Oh, excuse that, me. I'm from Chad. Stayed in the front. Wow. Mom, you get in the back. <laughs> I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked like that. Jeez. But Fat Joe, you know, Fat Joe was pretty. He was he was solid. He was solid. He had a good. He was pretty decent. He was pretty decent. He he stayed in the he stayed in the he said. for a good time. Fat Joe, he, he had he had he had a couple of good hits though. He had a couple of Fat good Joe, hits. Fat Joe, I'm you you understand that? That's that's what? That's what? That's all right, but based on based on who we got on the solo list, Fat Joe ain't he ain't up here, so. Uh, oh yeah, I, I guess I, I guess. I, guess. I mean, <laughs> he got a couple it's, of his. Kind of like the he overshadowed by the other greats of the time, but it's like yeah. Fat Joe definitely ain't no slack. Oh, like, he, go, he gonna give you some bars like that's two thousand seven sure. to two thousand ten. He was just he was he was. He was cold. Pounds, you talking pounds, too late? Oh seven. Bro. You gotta go back a little bit earlier the oh seven. Uh, what you Joe, got before Joe before Joe before Joe Joe back Joe Joe uh, yeah, yeah, Fat Joe's early 2000s. Yeah. Like, he early. was rapping with Big Pun. Yeah. Uh, okay. Biggest group that ever was. <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> I can't even say part of that group. She got wrong. What Big Pun like, 450, bruh? <laughs> hey, oh, hey. Was big pun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big Pun was, boy. Got the trailer, boy. <laughs> Hey, Peter, 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 Peter. <laughs> <laughs> he was tough, though. He was, he was a big, big dude. Big was tough. Yeah, big dude. All right, so we're going to move on from the Terror Squad. All right, so now let's get into the locks. This was Peanut's suggestion. So Peanut said we should put the locks on here. Look, man, G12 and the locks are the only two groups on this list that I don't know a lot about. So I know. <laughs> you don't know a lot about anything. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, we're talking about like, the locks. Like, that's like Jada Kiss and all that. Real, real, I think, I think Jada Kiss had the best diss on 50 Cent if we being real. Sheesh. Jada like, Kiss is really underrated. Did you, I don't think he was underrated. I think he was rated that way he was supposed to be because people back in the early 2000s, they really used to rock with Jada Kiss. Like, yeah, Jada Kiss is not. definitely not he's, he's underrated. Fine. He didn't, exactly. he didn't, all time wise, he didn't age well. You can say that. Yeah, nah. He, no, he, he had, he had some recent work with Fab, too. They did the, uh, yeah. the Night on Elm Street. The Nightmare Jump. Yeah. Yeah. He, that was tough. He, he got my album of the year. And he dropped this. In 2020? Yeah. Whoa. That came out in 2020? Whoa. Yeah. No hey, way. Relax. Of the year? Yeah. Relax. Relax. Hey, that's a hot. Hey, that's a hot. Uh, no, that shit is that's, hard, though. He got my hip hop album of the year. That's that a bad tape. That tape is hard, though. That's a bad tape. Go listen mm. to it. Go listen to it. You gotta go listen to it. Listen to it. Yeah. I have to listen to See, it. You said it's bad tape. You, you ain't. You don't know got, about it. But of 2020, though, after what Lil Baby did on this album? That's the thing. No, who did they say? album of the year. Album of the year, though. We ain't talking all the time. I'm talking album of the year. Like, That's uh, what I said. I'm no, well, but Little Baby dropped his album this year, so. Um, okay. You got to go listen to all the albums. <laughs> and you go, you go see Little Baby. Got this, the album you have that solid thing. Personally, right. personally, the album, the full album, I ain't listened to that Jenny Kiss album, but the album that I really like this year, I really like Big Sean. Detroit 2. No, no, no. You know, I'm a That was decent. <laughs> oh, my God. We're not talking about that. We talking yeah, about the locks. Yeah. The locks as a group. 
they ran New York along with G Unit and Dipset. They was doing their thing. And the thing is, it was really the trios. Like they they are trios. Like and they was run, they was doing their thing. They was going crazy with the bars, going crazy with the influences. Just you can't get no realer than that. That's New York. I ain't even from New York. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's for the York. culture though. Yeah. So that's the lock right there. Mm-hmm. But so yeah, next- yeah. Only thing I got to say is Jada Kiss just straight up rip fifty though. Like if you, if you ain't listen to the to the fifty cent dish, you definitely gotta go listen to it after this. It it was straight disrespectful. That's all I gotta say. I believe it. Fifty Cent has some some major beefs with a lot of people. <laughs> uh, He's beefing with his damn self. <laughs> I swear, bro. That is, that is very true. But um, <laughs> this was definitely a penis suggestion. He told me we gotta get on D twelve now. I don't know nothing about D twelve. Oh know. my gosh. <laughs> Well, I don't even hey, know boy up there. I don't. You, now, are you tweaking, bro? You, you, you can put D12 in up there with the lots of Terror Squad. You can put D12, D12 in there. Nah, bro. You tripping, listen, bro? Listen, listen. D12. They have no more album for the Pete. So. Detroit's Dirty Dozen. Two number one albums when they drop. In a two, ten year span, that's great. Two number one. They had two. They dropped two number one albums. What you mean in a ten year span? They was only. They only dropped those two albums. <laughs> they was only together for a little for a little minute. That's what I don't know what you're talking about. Detroit, the Midwest. Bro, <laughs> said a who, who ten year span. Like these niggas the dropped. They dropped two albums and they both went number one. Come Wait, on now. Talk about, but you don't. But you don't feel like they went number one because Eminem. That was his golden age. You don't feel like that had no impact on why they went number one. I didn't say that. That's probably the reason why they went number one. Eminem was on a tear. I mean, you can say that about a lot of groups, though. Yeah, you can say that about a lot of groups, but you really can. Um, Terror um, Squad was really good because of Joe and Fun. Yeah, that is true. You trying to make points, you... Your points scan across the whole goddamn culture. All I'm saying (laughs) is, ain't nobody bumping... Ain't nobody gonna bump no D12... They was nah, bumping it back then. Like they was bumping it back then, down, but like man. that joint, like now that 2000. joint they got no last. I'm saying that joint they got no last impact. Like ain't nobody, anybody ain't heard bumping D12. I ain't, I ain't heard D12 in the break. You got break, the like. influence though. You got the influence though. Like Odd Future. Like you got groups like that? them. Come on, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy to me. Yeah, ain't nobody throw Odd Future in anything. I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, in I'm there. saying yeah. like the influence, like. People still right, talk about Tyler. Yeah, I, I respect it. I respect it. When I hear D12, I think about Dwight Howard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's too fucking bad. Because D12 <laughs> definitely hey, be in the conversation. All I'm saying, Pete, they had the I can't, sharpest I can't niggas. name one D12 song. <laughs> <laughs> but that's y'all, that's y'all don't listen to enough music. <laughs> <laughs> to enough music. Yeah, I don't listen to enough music. Look, y'all need to go Hello. listen to it. Y'all need to go I listen to it. D12. No. World, Devil's Night, the Underground EP. Y'all got to go listen to them. Y'all no. listen to them tape. Y'all be like, damn. Hey, y'all heard these y'all niggas heard was really the sharpest coming out of Detroit. Tell hey, y'all, y'all, hey, y'all heard it first. Go listen to that, you know, that D12, all right? Let's keep it going to the more important groups, please. Um, Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Because I just told you. I just gave you statistics. Niggas (laughs) acting like I'm pulling shit out of my ass. The numbers ain't it. The numbers ain't it. I'm giving y'all numbers. Every every time we talk music, I give y'all numbers. Y'all act like I'm not saying nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all act like I'm not saying nothing. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Hey, hey, go ahead. East Side Boys, you know, y'all know East Side Boys, you know, to the window, yeah. random clubs, early 2000s, all yeah. day, every day. Impact, hey. insane, they, you know. They the only group to, to make a rap album sound like rock or metal music or I, I, I can't. Is it rock or metal? I don't know the difference between them two, to be completely honest with you. But anyways, you get what I'm they saying. They're the only group to have that sound and then People really bang with it, like yeah, them boys. They, they, they probably have one of the, the, the drinking at the gasoline bottle in the video. That's what they doing. Yeah, they wild. 
Yeah, yeah, nah, they probably have to show you. You still will get them songs in the club today. You no. still go hear them songs. We talking, we talking about groups that have been carried. That group got carried by one man. Little John, all the way. And that's hey, crazy because he ain't shit either. Oh, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> that's no. what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. So, for him to carry them, he carried them. It's crazy. <laughs> Hey, hey Lil John, John was a ten, bro. He the only he piece I bought, though, Bro, if someone had a Lil John sound, had a good three though. months, he just had a three month boom, boom, boom. All right. We and then we what? Cool. It was, uh, well, them three MJG. months got some timeless gems. Huh? Well, MJG, he, he had a big impact from out of that group, too. Who? MJG. Like oh, MJG man. and A Ball. Yeah. I didn't know he was in that group. <laughs> I don't want to run the group, but Lil John. It said Lil John and Eastside Boy. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, like that, like their tear was good, but the fact that every song it said Lil John and Eastside Boys, not just the Eastside Boys, showed who was really carrying weight that whole that whole run there. And then you definitely wouldn't even have lovers and friends without without him either. So. Oh yeah, that's that, 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 love, love, that, love, love, love is your friends was Lil John though. All they said was Shaw Day. That was the only line in that whole song. Right? <laughs> Shaw Day. That's all they was good for. <laughs> Shaw. Shaw Day. Hey, I think, wow. I think, I think, I think Lil John, I think Lil John really like helped their success by just having the features he did because he was on Oh Yeah with Usher on Confessions. So like, I feel like Lil John just being on all them features and can. And just being the person he was helped the Eastside Boys have the success that they really did. For real, for real, in all honesty. Yeah. Once again, another carry. <laughs> another carry. We're going to move to the next carry. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He was on that song? Who? Oh, Mark Trippin? Lil John. Oh, yeah. He was on Oh, yeah. What yeah, part was he on? He was, I don't know. He oh, he was on that, like, the. Oh, damn. He, he was, was on that, part, though. He was I'm on trying to think about it. He was, on like intro song. he was on there though. He's featured on the song. Like, I, I, I can't remember. Yeah, he, yeah, I, I can't remember either, bro. Right. I can't remember. Right. Came but away. the next group on here is Clips. Another carry, obviously, with Pusha T, of course. Carry. Carry. Pusha T. Pusha T. That did carry. Okay. That, did carry. That, that this is one group that definitely was not a carry. Oh, they was bumping. Group. Nobody talk about no malice, though. Right, because he's a preacher now. Let's be, let's be real. <laughs> Mace, Mace is a preacher. preacher. We talk about him. We yeah, see Mace how Diddy did, did Mace. That's what I'm Mace was like. About. Mace was like that though. Mm-hmm. You, you throw hey, you throw Mace on in the club, jump for real. And then you gotta give him respect because they from the they from VA as it is too. And then on top mm-hmm. of them working with Pharrell so heavily, like bro, you have. That what one for real track is probably the greatest track of this whole era, for real, for real. Like, like yeah, yeah <clears throat> you have them, them, that group right there, along with Pharrell. I'm not sure how much Neptune's influence with uh with Clips, but grinding itself what? in terms of impact. Bro, you know how many lunch table freestyles came from that? Just that one song? Yeah, yeah. Get up and get up back, y'all. And then on top of clips, they, they, they rap about the same thing in every single song, but it sounds different every time. Like, how can you do that? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> They don't do nothing but rap about cocaine. Ever, ever I'm about to say, bro. I'm, t- I'm telling you, bro. They, they pioneers of that whole that whole sub genre right there, bro. Like, yeah. they well, rap, coke bro, rap. The first that, go, the first verse, I can recite. I ain't the gonna say verse. that. You don't think so, bro? No. The no, whole that, that, that whole a lot, lot of niggas was talking about selling right. coke and shit. Yeah, but but they, they, yeah, that's all they talked about. Say. But think, but no, think, but think about it like this, P. Pusha T been talking about that since he came out in 2000. He's still talking about that. We ain't gonna act like though. Big Small got a whole song about that type of stuff. Push your T can't go one song without talking about the same crack of commandments. We got hey, this is 2000, though. Yeah, he said all the time. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. he was on he was on Kanye joint. He couldn't even, he couldn't even refrain from talking about some cocaine. Talking about some that white frost and that pound cake. Come <laughs> on, ain't nobody talking about that. Come on, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo. He rap about cocaine every single song, but it sounds He like do it. rap every about pushing that weight. I don't know why he pushes so much weight today. <laughs> Damn, yo, that bro. do be crazy. I'm like, yo. Like, relax. Like, like, he a no millionaire now. Like, but, hey. but if. That's like, Jay-Z, y'all boys still pushing like that? Damn. Hey, 
<laughs> For sure, they done told on themselves. Hey, at done. least at least a couple of times. <laughs> <Yeah>. Somebody. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the next group. Next group being Dipset. I ain't got to say much Dip about Dipset. Dipset. I'm going to let y'all take Dipset for me. Go ahead. And... Hey, Killer, Killer Cam Ron, though. No. Ain't nobody seeing him. Dipset. Dipset. Yeah, yeah. Killer Cam was crazy. Dip, and then uh, Joel, Joel was on no slack either, though. But my favorite, my favorite track from him is probably his most commercial song. And that was The Whistle Jump. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> That of course you can't forget and that. Joel, you know he made it cool to wear a bandana. Yeah, true that. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to Jim Jones. That nigga was Jim crazy. Jones too. Yeah, that nigga. Ball, was everybody played ball in a hundred times a day back in that era. Yeah. We fly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Coming from New York, all the good groups came from New York. Like in this yeah. era, anyway. All the trios, like. You got you got three niggas. They come from New York. They go and start rapping. They yeah, you might as well go in. Oh, they gonna be good. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, New York has this the area. I feel like they're probably, if not one of the biggest like rap influencers next to Los Angeles and that whole West Coast scene. They probably well, rap they originated in New York. Well, I, I, uh, I know that part, but. That's what I mean. It didn't. It didn't sound like you do that. <laughs> I was scared at the moment, but I said, "Hold on, boy, don't you go up that tree?" Uh, <laughs> it did originate in New York. Let's all. Get, I ain't gonna bust no history lesson, but that's. Yeah, what we going. got it. Grandmaster Flash. We got the whole. Know it. I know. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the ghost of this era. Three Six Mafia and Ju- with Juicy J, who's mm-hmm. still rapping today. Hey, he's still rapping man. today. He still makes good music. He still because he stayed in his lane. Yeah, and you know, he, get a, a, he get that sound too. That Memphis, yeah. Memphis pop sound. You know, yeah. I'm a I'm a club artist. My shit for the club. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah, his shit for the club. Yeah. Yeah. Strictly for, for the, the club. Nasty Jones. <clears throat> you know? yeah, they don't play sure. they juicy for them. Juicy J like seventy years old. <laughs> yeah, he is old. Oh, he it still got grills in his mouth. Still yeah. dropping club hits. You go into the club, you gonna hear some Juicy J at least yeah, once. That's the show. Don't hit yeah. the juice. Or you gonna either hear somebody that he done put on. One of the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. definitely, they definitely he got influence a lot of, influence a lot of, of southern Vegas rap Stallion. right now. If I'm not tripping, they got the what? same flow. They got the same flow. Meg Thee Stallion and Juicy J. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm about to say they got he got a lot of influence when it comes yeah, to yeah three six Ooh. three six definitely influenced a lot of southern rap. Yeah. Who, who the other dude in three six? I don't even know the other Could one. Could not tell you. Could not tell that you. That which is know. crazy. <laughs> like most of these, most of the groups, you, names, you only yeah. know the face. You only know one person. I always get him confused with the dude who paid in the um the Ti movie, John. Big the dude boy. With the broke cast. Oh, big boy. <laughs> That's big boy. He outcast. That's outcast. No, I'm not talking about big boy. The dude walking around with the cast. Oh, oh, the oh yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, they I'm... look like, he like the 3-6 Mafia. I said, damn, that's, that's the dude from 3-6. But damn, I might never tell me his name. <laughs> hey, 3-6, yeah. though, they had a, the, uh, my favorite track, of course, Pop My Collar. And then, dude, dude yeah, that's really, that's probably my favorite track for now. But in terms of just that, that flashy time club time music, yeah, definitely. They was, definitely they was had the dudes. They yeah. got that joint from uh <clears throat> the joint uh on the uh, what's that movie called? Just like it's hard out here for a pimp. You ever heard that oh song? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a song, but that's actually they shit apparently. <laughs> shit, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I didn't know that, bro. That's, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Next group we got on here is G Unit. We uh, we ain't got to say much on G Unit. They, 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 the they, they the only group in here with a legit video game. Like they have a video game. It's crazy. They have a few video line. games. Cold line, video game. They low key even game. shouldn't count because their best person said, "I don't want this next part of my history." That's crazy. He did yeah. say that. He, he said, that. "I don't want to be. Yeah. How you don't want to be with G Unit?" 
Jeez. You started this shit. You, that's hey, crazy. Two, two, two of the greater one, one, two. I don't, okay, two members. One of the greater West Coast rappers, and you know, Fifty Cent being who he is, one of the greatest. Whoa, 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 whoa! I said well, greater. I, I ain't say greater. Greater, greater, greater. Huh? You talk about the game. I think I'm talking about the game. I think you talking about the game. Talk about the game. Greater, greater. Nah. Not talking about the game. You don't, I don't, think, don't, you don't say that, bro. I don't even like the game, game like that. Nah, I, I ain't like the game like that. Dang, game got two albums, but I said that. I don't even know. Okay, all right. Well, Fifty Cent, we, you know, the only the first guy with the diamond album. Yeah, that's, Look, that's one of the first diamonds. Yeah, diamond we got albums, Fifty dude. Cent. Lloyd Banks, he was spitting punchlines like nobody got nobody. He, he might he might have been better than better Wayne for real. Just say any old stupid shit. Huh? Oh. Huh? Wait, 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 what do you say? <laughs> I said Wayne. I don't know what Lloyd Wayne Banks about. might have been better than Wayne at one point. Whoa. Wayne, 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 relax. Wayne, relax. Wayne, relax. Relax. Wayne, 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 Carter. You talking about Key Wayne? Can't be the way. Like, relax. Wayne no, Carter. Nah, relax. Relax, bro. Relax. Wayne might have been better than Wayne at one point. There no. you go. Wednesday, you, you tweaking, bro. You tweaking, bro. There's the hot take of the whole episode. Right he there. My <laughs> hot take. That's not no take. You got, to, you got to kick feet. He might have been. At one point. I ain't said it. I ain't said it. What, for oh, 24 hours? Because we were waiting for Wayne to drop? Huh? <laughs> 24 hours? Because once Wayne he dropped, he was back from Wayne on top again. <laughs> bro. That's what it was. Little Wayne will get on any G unit beat and murder it. Like, I'm not saying that he would. I'm saying Banks. I'm saying Banks. When it came to punchlines, he might have had Wayne at one point. <laughs> yeah. He might have had Wayne at one point. Like, bro, I'm gonna I'm say that, that Lloyd Banks was the best out of G Unit, but he was definitely not better than Wayne. Wayne smoking them boys. Smoking he's smoking especially boys. Wayne between 2004 and 2008. Like, Banks could have. Banks could have. Banks could have held some shit. He could have had. He could have. He the boys battle. They could have had you like he might have you. Uh, he he straight freestyle. But he battle. not gonna have him though. He who fight Yeah, he, he, put, he put up a little. He put up a little fight. But he ain't look, getting. Understand that I didn't say Bakes had way. I said he might have had. He <laughs> <laughs> was there. Now, he might have had. Is, let's move on to the next group. Whoa! <laughs> shout out to Young Buck too. We gotta talk oh, about yeah. that boy. Young yeah. Buck. That's my boy. Look. Honestly, <laughs> he about to say something when, crazy. And beg for mercy on the album, beg for mercy. He was the favorite. He was the one I listened for. A young buck. Okay. okay. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say nothing crazy. I ain't gonna say. All right. 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 Now, the last group of the list um, is Outkast. You know, we talked about them in the 90s, but their prominence still lasted in the 2000s with albums such as Stan Konya and so forth. Not only did Andre 2000 carry his work all the way through the 2000s, Outkast stayed up there too. So. You want to talk about carry? That's a carry. <laughs> that is a big carry. <laughs> Hey, hey, but no. there would not be a people, such thing people cannot give Atlanta a big boy quote about it. Ain't nobody <laughs> say nothing about big boy if it ain't talking about that damn T.I. movie. Nah, I, I, I the big, the big, big boy ain't getting enough respect, bro, because big, big, big boy could spit. He could spit oh, though. he definitely could. He could. He, yeah, oh, it's he just the fine. fact that he decided to make a group with three stacks. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Three stacks, he, lyrical talent is in something of... Yeah, big boy, big boy's bars was crazy, but three stacks was... Out of this world, like he top ten. For he, had that, he, had, he had that he swag had with him, that charisma. He had the style, like he. he I'm about to say, and then he was yeah. just different. Like, yeah, he was. You he, can't there speak there Atlanta no rap such thing as Atlanta rap without, without Outkast. Yeah, like, like, you can't like, do it. Yo, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, Yo, Thursday, he don't know about no more. So whatever. Yo, Doug would be here if it wasn't for Outkast. Let's just say that. It really now, would. Especially, especially don't because the way, that, the way Young Thug dressed, Andre 2000 was the originator of just wearing, wearing all I, kinds of clothes. Exactly. But that don't make sense to me. But we're not going to go too deep into Young Thug's outlandish statements. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and move on to probably the best part of the era being the solo acts. We're going to start off small with the honorable mentions. Let's start off with Ja Rule, the guy that 50 Cent hit the most. <laughs> 
numbers. <laughs> don't nobody give a fuck with Ja Rule. Don't nobody give a fuck with Ja Rule, they. Hey. I say honorable but nah, but nah, but nah, nah, nah. For real? Ja Rule? Ja Rule could make some music, man. He could make he some music. He was good for a hit. Yeah, he, 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 he had a hit. He, 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 yeah, he was a hit maker. He won't know an album. He was a oh, he, he, he did a Shanti on, 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 this, on the song with him, though. Man, put it on me. That song is crazy. That song they can go with uh New York, all them boys. Yeah. I'm, just, like, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not, not finna play no Jaru. Nah, yeah, neither. Me never. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna play no Jaru. I'm gonna tell I got one song by Jaru. I got all the Ashanti jokes. I got the Ashanti jokes. Yeah, I got the Ashanti jokes. You need the Ashanti jokes. Don't bang it. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say it here first. Ja Rule will definitely not be playing next Saturday. No sense. Yeah. Well, oh, he was definitely. He definitely got waxed. You can play the Ashanti yeah, joke. You can play one of them Ashanti jokes. You can play a couple Ja Rule jokes, but that's for y'all to discuss. Damn. Yeah. 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 You know, but you know, but that's that's easily that's easily beatable. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. No, it ain't. Ja Rule <laughs> <not with Ashanti, laughs> Jaru yeah, bangers are bangers. Son. Yeah, you you yeah, yeah. You, you throw one of the Ashanti joints on there, you could probably win a round off that. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But on to the next guy, uh, Twister. Probably one of the fastest guys ever spit besides Buster Rhymes. Hey, I, I think, was, I think he's faster than Buster. Yeah, Twister used to tweet. Uh, he, he's yeah. faster than Buster, for real, <laughs> yeah. I think. He used to turn Twister off. Like, man, I ain't. Can't even hear anything he's saying. Yeah, hey, you like now you got time. <laughs> but really, Twister, Twister might have put Chicago. He they might have he may he might have made Chicago like something to look at. Kanye. Like when Twister came out, he made yeah, like but then well, look at well, what not Chicago, but the Midwest versus yeah. his sound. Hey, what Twister was, who Chicago is now, ain't no way nobody expected that. It, big difference. <laughs> no. Way big difference. How you go from Twister to drill music, bro? Like, that's way You go different. from Twister to Chief Key. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> big difference. Well, man. the Midwest, the Midwest, he made the Midwest look. They made more people look at the Midwest. Okay. Next, you're going to say, next, you're going to say Tech Nine. And then Midwest. <laughs> hey, they was looking at Tech Nine, but Twister was like, Twist was like, hey, this boy, this kid from the Midwest. There's also somebody else from the Midwest, but we go get to him later. Uh, I'm going to get to him later. <laughs> anyway, next, next He's person. He's a man. That's what he is. Next, next person, uh, we're going to talk about Plies. You know, Plies has some hits. He liked Ja Rule. He has some good hits. The yeah. one, yeah. The yeah. one with Nino. Plies won't know rap. Plies won't know rap. Rap, man. He won't. <laughs> He was making Plies bangers was, though. Hey, definitely throw plies on a feature. Album, throw plot no, throw plies on a feature, bro. That joint might be the hit. Keep it yeah. there. Yeah. Sure. I do like the uh the definition of a real album though. That joint was nice. The joint that had um Busted Baby on it. Um I can't think of the name of the song, but the first bar is like he said, I went to sleep real, woke up real. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, bro. What? Yeah, what's what's the name of that, bro? I, I forgot that joint, bro. I, 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 on that album, though. His voice was very unique. Yeah. 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 He, got he, got got the, he got one of the top songs in that era, in my opinion. Uh, the joint with T-Pain, Shawty. That joint yeah. hard. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Definitely yeah. a lot, yeah. Classic. We'll talk about pain later. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah, yeah. facts. All right, so let's move on to the final honorable mention. Uh... I think I, I'm, I hope I pronounced this right. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Who? Chingy. Chingy. C H I N G Y. I ain't got nothing to say about Chingy. I ain't got nothing to say about Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about Chingy. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about Chingy. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about Chingy. I can't remember the hit. I was told to put him on this list. Was it Pop Lock and Drop It? Nah, no, nah, nah. That was, uh... That was huge. Uh, who was that drop it? Oh, that's Huey. That's Huey. I'm tripping. Huey. Bro, what did Chingy yeah. drop, bro? He dropped I like the way you do it right there, right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. That's what it's called, ain't it? Yeah, that's the only song I know. Huh? That's the only song I know by him. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the only song by him. That's the only he song he did drop that's relevant, bro. Shout out to Hurricane Chris. Hey, baby. 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 Hey, Hurricane Chris just spit on the boy. Young boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. And that's All terrible. Right. So, 
let's go ahead and get into the legends. I'm gonna go from smallest to biggest. Hopefully, I get this correctly. Well, so, I'm first, we'll start off with Cameron. Oh yeah, Killer oh, yeah. Cam. Okay. Your best out of Dipset. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah, there you go. He, hey, he made he made wear a purple cool. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people who listen to uh, early Cam got his albums like, yo, he got his on ranking wise. Not saying they all time albums, of course, you know, but they saying like, yo, them Cam Jones, they crazy, like they uh, top tier albums. Yeah. You can't yeah. talk about New York without talking about Cameron. It's just yeah. simple that. you can't say nothing about New York to talk about Cameron. Crazy. That basement freestyle, oh. the rap city freestyle he had when he was going through the paper, he was counting his money rapping. That dude was crazy. crazy. That dude yeah. was crazy. Shout yeah. out to Cameron Dipset. Shout out to them. They they did their thing. Next on the list, we gonna move up to Soldier Boy. Probably hey, hold on, hold on. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I know we just ain't playing. Soldier Boy, Gucci Mane, Fabulous, Jada Kiss, or Jeezy. Which one you Soldier Boy don't hold it. Nah, skip. Soldier Boy don't hold a candle to nobody you just said, bro. Hold hey, on now. Hey. Wait a minute. Stop. He a bitch. Hey, hey. hey. Soldier Boy, Soulja Boy is the reason we stream the music today. <laughs> That's true. what I'm saying. Very true. That's exactly so what I'm about how, to say. How was, how was Soulja Boy, Boy is the reason why we have dance songs today. Yeah. That too. Hey, hey, hey. I get that. I I get that. I get that. Soldier Boy was really good for a couple years and then really bad the rest. That's all he needed. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think it's the point that our name Cameron did Soldier Boy. Like, that's a gap. No, yeah, I, that's no, a no, 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 no. You, you look at the, you look at the document. No, bro, no, bro. You look at the document. It's always say Soldier Boy is a legend of the era. No. No. <laughs> uh, he's not. He's not. He's not a legend of the era, bro. He he got good songs. Streaming had one of the biggest dances ever. Um, but yeah, people gonna dance to anything. I'm telling, like he and Pop like Drop it, Pop like and Drop it had had people dance, but ain't nobody gonna put Huey in the legends of, of his era because he got some people to dance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got a so pretty boy swag or something bro, serious. Man, you gotta put respect on Soldier Boy name. He should have been an honorable mention. Yeah, honorable mention. I, I, if he was an honorable mention, I'd be like, okay, that's that's straight. Okay, okay. He ain't no legend. Yeah, yeah, we might, we might, we might have missed up. We might have missed up. We could have replaced him with Chingy. All right. Like you, no, you can't say camera. You can't say camera and then say Soldier Boy. Like yeah, when it comes when it comes to bars and shit, Soldier Boy definitely not. Oh yeah, no, not that. But I'm just saying like influence. He is up there. The solo career though, like. Like, but that's okay, that's, yeah. Influence, influence, yeah. He up there, but in terms but, of like, but, because like this list is more than just you know, all right, all right, for sure, for bars, sure. Because like, like, like we ain't got the three stacks being the goat of the era, but not only have bars, but his influence carries as well. So it's just like it's hand in hand, it's more to it. But uh, next on this list, oh, I'd have to go Fab because Fab okay. not hired, yeah, Fab not hired yeah. Gucci or Jeezy, so. Cap. Oh, so here, Jam. Let's hear your take. Fab yeah. got bars. Like, I, I, I put I put Fab I put Fab over Jeezy. Not gonna cap. I don't I don't, I don't really Fab care if Jeezy got bars, bro. Like, Fab, Fab up there. What? Well, Trey Songz is my favorite track, bro. That, like, Fab got Fab got the 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 Fab that's nah, not just nah, nah, it's Fab. Nah, it's Fab. Nah, nah, like, yeah. Go, go yeah. front like Fab, not one of the best yeah. punchlines. Oh, get. for sure. Fab Fab was doing his thing. <laughs> he still I, I will. Was, he was definitely something not. He won't. You got to come correct when you mess with Fab. Oh, okay, yeah. this is the thing. We got to take lyricists out of it. He not over Jeezy, just based off of. Man, no, Jeezy, no, of course. You know, of course, of course. Still rapping about Coke. <laughs> Fab. <laughs> Fab is underappreciated in he like is very our generation. They just go with the throw thing. Fab, all he got is throw it in the bag, and that's all they gonna know. Like, what trade it all? Fab got a lot of hits, bro. Fab, 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 Fab still dropping stuff. Fab still got some stuff I can listen to nowadays, and I ain't gonna count. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, for sure. The Young OG project, like what? Yeah, I play Fab, that. Fab was Fab that early. Fire. That early Fab crazy. Yeah. Well, like, like since we since we were interchangeably going with him, let's go ahead and move on to Jeezy. Big Love Snow, him. man. That's I'm about big to say, Snow. His influence on the streets, oh. like, bro, he hey, the verses the other way. He couldn't wear a certain T-shirt to school because of Jeezy. <laughs> hey, 
tray like if that. If it had a snow, if it had a snowman on there, you couldn't wear it. Come on, nope. <laughs> they got influence out the roof. Yeah, he bro. started trap music. Hold on, he started trap music. He's still wearing Hold that snowman on, shirt. There you, there you go. Start he helped with the music. trap movement. He helped. With the <laughs> help. I'm about to say he go. definitely was a he, big. He was. He, he, he had a big stuff in the trap music. Put he got a seat way. in the car, but he won't drive it nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he did his thing. Jesus did his thing. That joint, that joint, that joint, that joint, that joint, that joint, that joint go get her. That joint go crazy, bro. Yeah, that go get her crazy. That joint go get her go crazy, bro. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, yeah, but Jeezy. Let's yeah, let's move on to the next Jeezy. guy. Gucci man, you know, before he went to prison, he was of legends. The the state versus Roger Davis. What's up, bro? You. Every time you talk about Jeezy, that's the I mean not Jeezy Gucci, the first that's the first album you talk about. Like he yeah. got hundred mixtapes. Gucci man, man. Legend. Gucci man a legend, bro. <laughs> Gucci man is so crazy, bro. Like oh, man. Lemonade, to, lemonade to this day is iconic. Like, I can't tell you. Gucci it's... is not a legend in this era. Oh. In that era. Okay, let's hear why. Yeah, no, no, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Two, in the twenty Gucci t- in the twenty tens is a legend, but in the two thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty tens is a legend. I I mean, the Fab, Cameron, Jeezy, and we gonna mention more people. They would look like oh, we just had no business with like, Gucci right there. Yeah, if we talk yeah. about Gucci man, pe- pe- more people from our era, from this era, it might the twenty tens gonna talk about more Gucci, Gucci. man. Than yeah, because his, his influence on shows of what he has been doing for people back then. He was yeah. Man, he was, Still killing people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still out here on the street. You got a point. You got a yeah. point. You got a point. All right, so let's go and move on to the next one. That would be: Should we go Jada Kiss or the game first? Which one should we go first? Let's go ahead and get the game out of here. Let's yeah. go and get the game out of here. All right, so the game, you know, the lesser part of the G Unit group, but he was still carrying weight. His first, his debut album, hated or loved it. A couple of tracks on there. This is how we do it. Yeah, he came. He came out strong. I wish. I wish his career would have panned out better than it did. But it started strong and it hit the gutter and it came back. And it just. It was up and down the whole time. Bro. He he was, he was carrying was, the West for a second. He was carrying. Yeah, the West. yeah. yeah before before the game, it's kind of like he's a hit or miss. Like yeah, and some songs he'll give you like that that straight lyricism. He'll give you the bars. Like he can go, but. It's just sometimes I felt like he tried too hard for his sounds. You, or something. you, like, I so, really you had to hear the game with somebody else. Like, oh, okay, yeah. I like this song. What did it? Just the game. Do you, yeah, that's crazy. It, 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 it is. It is crazy that his two biggest tracks on his debut album both had Fifty Cent on them. Both of them had Fifty Cent. It's crazy. Well, I mean, Fifty Cent. He went diamond yeah, in 2000, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. you, 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 get, you get Fifty, 50 Cent on something. Was what hit. Drake is in the yeah. in right now, bro. Like, yeah. Fifty Cent was huge. Yeah, we know. We know. That old, yeah, like that. We'll talk about him later. Like, my life joke. Oh, my yeah. life Wayne. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a that's a deep song. Like, it hey, is oh, very yeah. depressing, but it's a good song though. Let's yeah. move on to the next. Uh, well, J D Kiss it is. Let's talk J D Kiss. Well, J D Kiss, you know, probably one of the better lyrical rappers of this area. He got some. He's yeah. he's pretty solid. I don't know a lot about him, but I know he. he J D one of the best lyrical yeah. rappers of all time. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he can flow though. Yeah, let's talk about this straight lyrics. He mentioned in the list. Straight lyrically, Jada, Jada is up there. Like, ooh. well, we mentioned him yeah. twice already, so sure. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's some people who say certain names that we not gonna get into now, who got them high, and Jada, Jada kisses rapping laps around. For sure, full that's sprint true. too. So, Ain't no jogging. We run. He the run. second <laughs> for Brick. <laughs> the second, the second best legend in this list for me. Oh no, wait! I still got three left. Hold up. The third best legend in this list for me. I'm gonna have to go Ti first. Hold on, wait a okay. minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I, you I can give three. you that. I we got three. That, you gonna find out. I got him coming. I got him coming. He's about to get. Ti is coming. the person who put that trap music on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now that is true. Oh, I'm talking about oh three, oh four, oh five, oh six. Like he had a run. Like his his, 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 08, his, his, his 08, I can't think of his 08 album, whatever it was, whatever Paper Trail. That I album, that Paper Trail. Yeah. I love Daddy Kong. Like, 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 like us. Oh man, no front like Ti yeah. dropped twenty fold though. Like, yeah, that's yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's a Trump was, bangle right there. He was. Oh, oh wait. Now, was, was, since you said something about 24, I'm going to throw another honorable mission in right here. 
I thought I forgot about my boy Paul Wall. Oh, oh yeah, you can't forget <laughs> Paul Wall. Paul oh, Wall. my boy, Paul Wall. Hey. Okay. And if we leave it at that, you baby, it's yeah, the y'all ice man, Paul Wall. Paul Wall. See? I got my mouth shining something like a crystal ball. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, look. Yo, he Paul Wall used to bow, though. Paul Wall used to bow. Yeah, but we back to tip. Back to tip. Back to tip. T.I. was nice, you know, probably the biggest hit of 2008 with whatever you like, of course. Then he had some albums in the 10s, you know, had a couple of things there. C- was a hit with CeeLo Green. He had an album in 2014, but that wasn't that wasn't too good. But the Guns N' Roses, all right? He, he's he's still trying to drop. Paperwork. T.I. just dropped that joint with a... T.I. had me thinking he was two people. I thought T.I. was two people. I was like, what? Who's him? Come on. No, that's not T.I. Oh, that's crazy. You know who we should have we should have named the honorable mentions though, or at least in one of these categories. You we we skipped over Nelly though. Wait, oh, stop! Oh. Wait, wait, time out, time out. I was getting there. I was oh no, no, you there. okay? Then your list is messed up. No, it's on, it's, it's on the list. list. See, that, see, this is why y'all gotta look at the list. He on there. He yeah, on there. He, he on there. He on there. He's on there. We, I, I, I put him on there. Come on, now. Oh, you <laughs> You said Nelly, you got though. three more people, and that list it don't make sense. So we ain't. Even but the it. second best legend of the era was gonna be Ludacris, and Nelly was number one. Y'all ain't let me get. Oh, that. you got okay. legends, then it go ghost. Uh huh. Oh, oh why? Oh why? Oh why? See, oh, this why. is why you gotta look at the list. Should have paid attention in class, you fucking bozo. Oh wow. <laughs> Nah, that might be. That might be. I was gonna let you. Come on, you know how many people we don't forgot? If we stop right here, oh my god. Okay. I'm good. Right, all right, all right. Don't say no more days. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyways, let's call Ludacris. Ludacris, stand up. That's all you got to say when you think of Ludacris. That's all you got to say right That's there. Right. He has way more hits that are way bro, better than that. Not that I think about it. Not I think about it. I know. So much stuff, bro. Now, Ludacris got so much stuff, bro. Like, Ludacris. Yeah. You can say yeah. Ludacris is standing up. And you know who we talking yeah, about. Yeah, when I, when I, if you think about it, Ludacris is like... A more popular red man, cause they both they both had like the same personality. Yeah, like, like off the wall type. Of I, I I know yeah, Ludacris. Like, I know Ludacris was rapping to be funny, or was he rapping to be serious most yeah. of the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like he had a great he had a great collab with Mary J. Black when well, Mary J. Blige or Run Away Love. And then yeah. I look at look at Ludacris's like his videos. <laughs> and they kind of got that same kind of like influence that Busta Rhymes had with his yeah. videos. Like they yeah. were different. Uh, Cause he'll be a big, sure. he'll be a big old dude. He kept the pro. He was looking like Bone Crush in some videos. Like, hey, yeah, <laughs> that Bone Crush over there. Hey, look, this might this this might be interesting, but I feel like the way Ludacris is doing his music videos, without the without Ludacris, the way he just doing his music videos, the baby wouldn't be it. Wouldn't have nothing. Would have nothing. Cause you gotta think about the props, the dancer. Ludacris had all that in the two thousand. And then you yeah. got the baby doing it now. So you got to think about something. Like, I said it a couple of years ago, and Trey was ready to victimize me for it. Back in the day, it was different, though, because now we don't care about music videos. Yeah, don't nobody yeah, watch I don't even watch we, music videos. Back in the day, we used to run home to 106 and part. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that's yeah. a new joke. Yeah. Well, probably, probably one of the best shows of the era, low key. But uh, the last legend of this list um, is Nelly. Oh, uh, man, we ain't got to sell. He sell out of Walmart. Target, even roses for those that know what roses is. <laughs> everywhere. Hey, bro. Yo, <laughs> I was saying roses. Don't act like y'all wanted no roses, boy. Don't y'all forget that. Look, <laughs> he made me. He made me get a pair of Air Forces. He made me get a pair of what, 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 what did they say? What did they say disrespectful about Nelly? Some dude had got a recent endorsement with Air Forces, and they said. Now Air Force was probably because of him instead of Nelly. And I was at somebody. Yeah. It was something. It was somebody. Bro, if you didn't wear a band-aid on your face. Oh, like, like, yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. Like, you ain't even had no cut and you would put a band-aid on your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's made it cool oh, yeah, that joint is fire. Oh, that crazy. What, Country Grammar? His first... I was shocked to hear that Country Grammar was like his debut album. That means he came out strong. Like, bro, his first was platinum, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Now his first two came out... 
Yeah. Yeah. Nelly was top tier. He definitely was. Let's move on to the GOATs of the era. All right. The first, All right. The, the least GOAT of the era is three stacks. We're going to start three stacks first. Whoa! Okay. Never mind. Whoa. He said that. He said that. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Compared to these hands, we're about to get into it. No, 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 no. I had to look at the rest of the list. I, 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 I had to look at the rest of the list. I agree. He, I agree. he said this era. I, I, I should have let you finish. Get into it. Three stacks. We already talked about three stacks. We're going to know it's in the out. But we ain't talking, you know, his features with a couple of songs. Lyrically, he's probably one of the best rappers ever. Culturally, probably, culture influence, probably one of the greatest rappers to have the greatest culture influence solely. Is there anything else we need to say about Andre? Because we talked about him at least five we times. We will always, I think real music people will never get over the fact that he don't got a solo. Yeah. You don't, like, have, a, don't have a solo album. Hmm. You don't have like, a solo You don't need a bunch of songs. You ain't got it. You could have did a quick eight or something. Cause he just, yeah. He really like what Kendrick and Cole do, and them still had the albums. That's what Three Stacks been on. Like I just, sure, I, I, I come and I go. Yeah. He yeah. did it crazy. Impact is amazing. Yeah, he'll always be mentioned in that yeah. top ten the, list. The next, oh. the, the next go we can go to on this list. I'm gonna go DMX first. I'm gonna go DMX first. Oh, oh. DMX. Yeah. Is y'all DMX hear, did y'all hear that story? Did y'all hear that story? Did y'all hear that story? What Muda, what Murder Mook said. He said uh DMX was battling somebody and he had his dog with him. And he was like he was like, he trained his dog to battle with him. Like, he was like, I got my dog with me. And the dog would, like, growl. And then he'd be like, he be like, yeah, that's, that's how you know something with him. And the dog, Yo, that's would, the dog would, like, bark or some shit. He'd be like, nah, ma, let me get him. I was like, whoa. Yo. I was like, yo, if I was Yo. there, I would go crazy. If, that, if I saw Yo, Mac like, made it cool to have a pit. Yes. Like, I got to have a pit. <laughs> and his story, his origin story is crazy. Like he used to, he used to be on the street a lot, and then he just, then uh, I forgot their names, but the brothers had came and picked him up and was like, "Yo, we got you." He started rapping, and he DMX now, Dark then, Man you, X. You you know he get his um his name from Snoop. Really? Oh. Yeah. He get his like his like, how he like dogs and stuff like that. Not saying Snoop was a big dog, though, but it's, it's from, like, Snoop, his, his race of Snoop. Because that's why they did that battle. I guess I guess it had some interaction when DMX was coming up, and then he was just like, Snoop was like, yo, you know how Snoop is. You, my dog, yo. And then from there, it just went on. That's cool. That's cool to hear. That's but yeah, DMX, mm-hmm. crazy. DMX got a whole feature. You know, once you... And then DMX, like, all of his concerts would sell out. And I'm talking about I, thousands of people. We only seen like, that one video of it looking like he got half the world in that jungle going crazy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, DMX is, a lot of people got DMX on that all time rank too. Yeah. Which yeah, is, he, get down. he used to get down on the yeah. mic. Like, it wasn't just a gimmick like with the boxing shit, but he was a rapper. When, he, when you wanted him and to rap, he was, he was um, going crazy. And then yeah. he'll pray for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would rap Pray. a prayer. Then the verses he did was new. He was rapping. He <laughs> rapped a prayer. Like, how did you do that? <laughs> hey, bro, where was DMX at when he saw that concert out, bro? That, uh, which I was what? talking about, like that joint was OD. Like, what's the famous show was, that they that always was... got every year? It was a uh, rolling loud, huh? Rolling loud? Nah, I won't roll loud, bro. Uh, Let me. Bro, cause that joke was crazy. Way, like, it was oh, it's Woodstock. Like, it's Woodstock. Woodstock. Oh, oh. Uh, Woodstock. Right. That one wouldn't last in COVID days. I'm straight like that. Definitely <laughs> not. But uh, on to the next go to the era. Next go we gonna hit on is Fifty Cent. Whew. Fifty got a diamond album. Only so his diamond got a diamond album. Yeah, it's crazy. Diamond. It's crazy. But I feel like his career didn't pan out as great as we thought it was, low key, because. After that album, it's like he got a couple on Candy Shop, you know. There's a couple of hits he got there. I get money, all those kind of hits like that. He started focusing on other stuff. He started focusing on other stuff. Yeah, that album yeah. was so big. He was like, bro, I ain't. He was really running one that like I ain't really got to do too much more of this. Yeah, like, he do every he do everything now. 
Yeah, What's the yeah, yeah. Huh? They, they have the best series of the era. Yeah, yeah. Movie crazy. yeah. What's crazy is his second album, like the first week sale so fast it didn't get rich or die trying. Which yeah. is crazy. But they still like, didn't do the numbers that Get Rich or Die Trying did. It didn't, but the massacre was great, going crazy too. Yeah, like that joint. That crime, man. That joint. Oh, gosh. It hit. It hit every checkpoint. Yeah. So you, you got it with the Wayne son and what up all that. The story. Yeah. Probably one of the best storytelling songs with the Many Man Jones. Yeah. The, in the intro of that song is one of the best intro to a song. You're right. You not right. lying. We he got 21 questions. I'm about to say he got 21 questions. That's probably one of his most popular songs. That's probably yeah. Yeah. That might that was personal to me. Like oh, yeah, outside, not, not not the club, but besides the club, that might be the best song. Like 21 it's questions. Yeah. yeah, he 50 he stuff. He does. As I was saying, he didn't. He could have been crazy. What? Yeah, like. like he, he could have been. He only really remembered for his first two albums. Yeah, he could have been the eyes, people view. He had more beats than that album. And all that. Yeah. But um, to the next goat on the list, we're gonna go ahead and move on to Kanye West. Absolutely. Pers- personally, I don't like Kanye. So. Oh. Whoa. Personally, all right, look, I don't like Kanye either. Oh, but oh, man. his three, his first three albums, he went on that run and it was crazy. What college dropout, late registration, graduation, my daughter was a fantasy. That four album run right there put him in his ghost status easily with no question. That last yeah, one, yeah. best one. My, my daughter was fantasy. No, that's his best one, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's his best one. That's his best. Yeah, one. Yeah, I, mean, I, best, best, I think graduation is best. But nah, bro. Oh no, bro. Like if you no, it, 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 it ain't even the it ain't even the rap, bro. It's 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 the it's the music he producing like. If you yeah. hear the stuff he's putting the out, Kanye like this King music rap. he producing, this music he producing is like next, le- like Runaway, bro. X. Bro, Runaway is next level. Like the, the producing on that joint is next level, bro. Uh, like, All right, that's... before but, but before we move on, let's let's not ignore what Peanut just said. He said Kanye can't rap. Now Kanye has bars. That's yeah. not true. He he used to be able to rap. Nowadays he can't really rap that much. But what, back then, Kanye, Kanye, before, couldn't, look, look, really, look, look, look. Kanye say... couldn't really get down like that. Let's say that. <laughs> He couldn't really get down lyrically like that. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say Kanye ain't gonna sit here and rap like bar for bar, punchline and freestyling off top of the head. But if you get Kanye to produce and make a song, let alone a, a whole album, and put together a full production, he's not gonna disappoint. And he oh yeah, he's gonna tell you something. He's not gonna disappoint, not gonna disappoint at all. Yeah, but not, yeah. like, in terms of his best album. His best album, I would not say is My Beautiful Dark Twisted of Fantasy. His best album is definitely College Dropout. And his his probably a hot take, but I'm I said what I said before I said it. The Life of Pablo is not a bad album at all. It won't. It no, won't that, at all. It won't at all. That album, I'll put his top, top three, to be honest. That, that one a bad album. His at all. influence is crazy. It is. I put the life of Pablo as his top label, three him, He has he has probably the deepest label out of any artist to start his own label. Like it's deeper than Rock Nation. It's deeper than anything. Like good music has so Hold much. On, bro. I don't know if it's deeper than Rock Nation. Cause what you going on with? It's not deeper than Rock Nation. Oh, no, no, no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. I, 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 I gotta, like, I bro, know. if it, I might, if I might it look look rock nation, would there be Kanye? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Oh, rock nation Jay. song. Lord, dang. Mm. Well, all right. Let me, <laughs> all right, let me refer it. Well, ah, uh, dang. I might have messed up on that one. Hey, but he, but he has a big hope. Yeah, but he has hey, yeah. a big hope. Kanye, the reason why 50 won't as big. Who? Kanye, the reason why 50 didn't last long. Why you say that? Okay. Oh, because like because of that album talking. competition. Yeah, that, because oh, Kanye, because Kanye sold more than um, sold more units. He yeah, yeah, more I, units know, than I know, 50. I know exactly. And then 50 what, went down. I know mm. exactly what Peanut talking about. It was like 50 Cent made this bet with somebody. He said, if Kanye's graduation sells more than my third album, I'm gonna stop making music. And graduation outsold 50 Cent's third album by like. Levels like it wasn't even close, like of so. course, because look at what he had put out before that. I'm just like, saying that. I'm, that's why I feel like Kanye's influence on everything else that he produced for other people. Like when a Kanye beat comes on, I if you have a good ear, you probably would know that that's Kanye's beat, yeah. Like without even having to look at 
you know, who had, you know, writing credits on this song. It, you can yeah. hear Kanye. Kanye, Kanye is going down as one of the greatest producers of all time. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Because no, his, his no. producing is ridiculous. Yeah. But let's continue the conversation. Let's move on to the next go to the era. We're going to talk M. M was the next go on this list. Why go is ahead, M, why is M not the last? Hold on, hold on. Let me speak. Let me speak. Cause when we talk about when we talk about this, M should always go last. No. We should all have that respect nah. for my boy. Nah. We should always go last. All right. Now let me keep on speaking. M has two diamond albums. The Marshall Mad and the Eminem show. I would be quiet. I'm talking. That's crazy. That's why. From 1999 to 2004, it was all M. M gave you G. M gave you fifty. M the reason why Dre was I back agree. was back on top of the game. I agree with that. Okay. M had M still has the top three fastest selling albums, the most selling albums. Come on now, M always. The greats talk about M. The greats talk and say M is one hey, of the greatest. We we love we Don't love M from the two from the two thousand. We love him huh? from the 2000s. But in the 2010s, Eminem need to stop making whatever he's making. I ain't fucking with that. I ain't messing with that. <laughs> we ain't talking about 2010. We talking about 2000. <laughs> all right, yeah. 2000. All right, well, yeah, so yeah. Eminem, Eminem definitely up there. 1999, I'm sorry. So from 2000 to 2004. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eminem that show, Encore, crazy. Relapse, all that. Yeah, I, I, I give him but that. But somebody in his camp, though, Snoop Dogg said him is not a top 10 rapper of all time. But Snoop not a top ten rapper of all time. How you go? How you? How somebody not in top ten gonna say you not in top ten? <laughs> all the other top ten players <laughs> said he top ten. Eminem, Eminem got a lot of wordplay. I I I, I give him that. Wordplay crazy. The problem is who we said we not talking about. Oh yeah, he was the he was the original one to rhyme the word orange with uh, abundance of words, but a whole lot of words. But we not getting <laughs> just down to that. A whole M, lot of words. You hear M, you look, when they said when they said M is on this track, you know you're supposed to come with it. If you don't come with it, they're gonna forget about you. You might as well forget He's about it. He was out of any his rapper, mama and his daughter. That's crazy. Out of any, what? Out of any artist he to start. Like his mama. <laughs> yeah, he do he he they used to shit on his mama all the time. He tweaked on his mama. Like yeah. he came back. Well, his, mama, his mama won't good. She wanted a good mama. <laughs> what you want me to do about it? But but I feel like he has one of the biggest, like out of any artist who star in a movie, he probably has one of the biggest, the biggest movies. You know, uh, uh, excluding two part cool, because you know he has multiple movies, but um, you know, A Miles probably one of the better like rapper, like the rapper being the lead actor type movies. Probably, yeah. probably, probably top and two. And won an award. There it is right there. So I need to say. Hey, he's back talking about his mom. Look, M, M, M will go down as the greatest. One of the greatest. I ain't going to say the greatest. Oh, a lot of people boy. Disagree. Hey, he going to go down as one episode. of the greatest. But, before, but let's go ahead and move on to the next go to the era. The next go to the era is Missy Elliott. Now we got to come on. Missy, let's. Oh, yeah. 757 product. Numbers. Get your freak on, Look, man. Get your freak on. Numbers. Yeah. Missy Elliott is. We shouldn't even. There's nothing else to say. You, you, you certain names you just say, and that's the Number. conversation right there. Missy, Missy, Missy. She's yeah. the best female like, complete artist of all time. No question. <laughs> if you don't know about Missy, you better go do your homework. Yeah, yeah you better go do your homework. Like Missy, one of them rare females who you can't talk about hip hop without talking about Missy. Like, there's been a lot of female rivals to come through who can rap. But you have to talk about Missy to like, all right. But imagine the numbers that Missy would have done if streaming was like a thing back then. Insane. Can't even imagine. Crazy. Internet probably crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <Insane. laughs> <Insane. laughs> <Insane. laughs> to, the, to the next go of the era. The next go to the era. I might have to go Jay Z first. Huh? Jay Z, the next go <laughs> Okay. Jay Z, you say is the next go or two? Two, 
It's only two. It's only two left. We got. I know. I, I, I know. We got Jay Z and we got Wayne. So we just talk about Jay Z because we Wayne is the goat of the era. And that's we gonna we gonna get into that conversation in a second, but Jay All right, Jay Z is Jay Z <laughs> Now me, Jay. now me, my my people don't agree with this, but I preferably I like I know Jay has his work in the nineties, but I prefer two thousand Jay. Like two thousand Jay has some major hits, like the Blueprint You're series. Only one on that post too. That book on sync. <laughs> The blue- <laughs> <laughs> he got I understand he got the blueprint series. Keep going, Ira. Right, keep going. Man, like just the just the just the just the hits on them albums. Like, come on, bro. Let's not let's not get crazy. Like we had an argument just the other day. Song Cry is the best song on that album. That's just me personally. Bro. No. How you gonna say so better than it? It's so Man, go ahead and talk about Jay since y'all got so much to say. Go ahead. Please, Electro. Bro, Song Cry is not the best song in that album. That is- That's just me, bro. Hope is just one of those people, just like we just talked about Missy. He hoes. When you say Jay Z, he's Jay Z. You, know, you, you go through his whole catalog instant. It's hard. Like, we're going to mention him on every list we talk about hip hop. Very true. Because, I mean, he been in the 90s. He's in the 90s. And, and, and he's he always in the 20s. Probably less than a 10 with the GOAT, but he's he could all be the GOAT of both the eras. Yeah. That's yeah. why he undoubtedly walked around top three all time rappers. I ain't gonna say top three. You can argue. So, you can three. argue that. Yeah, you, you, can, you, can you can definitely argue that. You can definitely argue Jay, that. Hey. The thing with Jay, he's he was never the best in any of the eras, but we gotta but, talk about him. Jay, yeah, not, that's the thing. Say, thing about Jay. Not mention Jay. I heard yeah, people, that's the thing with him. People like, just say it's hip hop like Jay Z. Then we don't talk about nobody else. Like that's how I didn't heard people say like, "Yo, ho, say what you want about Big, say what you want about Pop, whoever." It don't mean nothing when it comes to ho. It's ho that you make your own list after that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't go that far, but I respect ho <laughs> as being undoubtedly top five. Yeah. Uh, well. It ain't married to Beyonce. It ain't but one guy left. <laughs> and that's Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne undoubtedly probably is, is go to the end. Okay. Please go. Do not say the, it. All right, y'all go go. Y'all go with y'all argument. We could be arguing for a the, Bro. <laughs> He's the let's, GOAT. Let's start this off here. How many how many mixtapes did, did Lil Wayne shut down that piff with? Let, let, let's just start there. <laughs> Two. Right. That's not even the website no more, but we're going to Bro. Lil Wayne, like, Lil Wayne is probably the reason why. His shit break it up. <laughs> no, he lied. <laughs> you didn't go back to your spot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, you got to repeat everything you just said. Yeah, you got to go back to your spot. <laughs> hey, look, yo, no. look, 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 look. Lil Wayne Stop is the reason. Phone. Don't move the phone. You're the booty. You can't be moving the phone. All right, shut up. I'm talking. Anyway, right there. Lil Wayne is the reason why people used to get viruses on their laptop because they downloading off of that Piff and LimeWire or uh, trying to get his mixtapes on everybody else's beat. People used to want Lil Wayne to get on their beat and freestyle off of their beat. Like, yeah, then his album leaked. Go Platinum, they came out and went Platinum again. Again. And again. a part of three... It's probably it's probably one of the best albums of all time. Top ten albums. Carter three got so many hits on that joke. Oh, and then Carter two. Then you can all me say he won them red people. You probably say he at rap hoes when Hov was on the song. Hold on now. All right, now y- y'all gotta be quiet. <laughs> Uh, oh no, nah, I ain't, I ain't fact, finished. On a Mr. Carter. That's Carter. I think. Hold on, oh. trade not finished. Y'all, 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 trade not finished. He said I ain't finished. finished. I ain't finished. Right, and, and please tell me in the 2000s when you have heard a bad Lil Wayne verse. Please tell me. It ain't one. It ain't it, one. It ain't <laughs> one. It ain't one. It ain't one. He ain't put out no bad music. And this is all off the top. So I gotta ask, now. So, so I gotta ask this question. So who? Rhyme the word orange better. Eminem or Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. M, of course. <laughs> Why would Definitely Wayne be the one? First of all, let me speak on that Jay-Z comment. 
Jamil said. Renegade, J and M. First of all, J had got the vocals from M already. He already had the song. All he had to do was lay his verses. And M still beat him. Come on now. You heard the song and you still can't write a better verse. That's number one. Number two. Like I said, M got two diamond albums. Does Wayne have diamond albums? No. Oh, three. Yeah. <laughs> three. Three. Like I said, M got the top three top selling albums. So you hear to say. numbers at y'all. Y'all don't listen. Like so you I hear. Said, hold on. Hold on. Like I said. Like I said. You hear people say. People say, oh, M, this is an M track. I'm not going to mess with him. Nobody wanted to mess with him lyrically. And everybody do that. Nobody wanted to mess with Wayne. Him wanted to mess with Wayne. Him got it. Him wanted to mess with everybody. He still wanted to mess with everybody. Like, he still dissing 6 9 in 2020 for a reason. Bro, M time. tried to come on Wayne's song, dissing him, and Wayne still watched him. What are you saying? What song are you talking it's about? Real. Drop the World? No, Drop the World. world. Yes, bro. No, yes. he was not trying to diss nobody. Bro, you got to think, about, okay? Lil Wayne gave us Drake and Nicki. M gave us fifty. Drake, Drake and Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Drake, P. Yo, you know, Nicki. You know, Drake. You know Come about on, Drake. Nicki. And you then I mean, Drake. you gotta say Tiger just because, but you know, Tiger's Tiger. Uh, okay, he, got he, got, he had a good, he had a good like two three. All Wayne gave us. All he had to say was Drake. We he gave us Drake. about his inspiration. That's all you had to say. He gave us Drake. And guess That's what? It. And guess what? Fifty. Did? <laughs> That's it. He dropped the diamond album. Does Nicki oh, have a diamond oh, album? Oh, no. Does oh, Drake oh, have oh, a diamond oh, album? Look, 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 look. It's a streaming era now. now. It's a, it's it's a streaming era now. Arguable, who's better artist overall between Fifty Cent and Drake? We already know Drake got that title, and we ain't even gonna entertain that conversation. I don't even know what you said. I said we're not gonna sit here. And have an argument over who was the better artist overall between Fifty Cent and Drake. We already know Drake got that. It's 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 raps. It's no question. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying, like. So that means Lil Wayne had the greater influence because he bought the better artists. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how I see it, bro. Let's be real. Let's be real. If you you talking about these numbers, Pete. Let's 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 relate this to today. We can all probably like we can say that Drake has put up, he has washed everybody in terms of numbers category. But is he a better lyricist? Is he a better rapper than than J Cole? No. Exactly. What are you getting at? Wayne J. is Cole not a better rapper than him. Numbers that Drake has. <laughs> Lil Wayne still put up those numbers, and Eminem may have his stats. But Lil Wayne is definitely the better lyricist, the better rapper. M literally got a song named Goat. And y'all go sit and tell Goat? me M is not Goat? the Goat. Huh? I can have a song named Goat. Like, what the fuck? Anybody do it. For you to say, for you to show you, for you to prove first that you the Goat. And then go on it, and say, oh, right. I just did, I just basically ran the 2000s. Y'all gonna sit here. I can tell Lil Wayne make a song named Cat. It don't matter. And they will still watch him. The fact, the fact that Wayne went last and not M bothers me. M should have been the anchor for this conversation. Wayne was walking around the 2000s known as that's the best rapper alive. So was M. So no, he was no. Him, was never walking around. Lil Wayne self-proclaimed him as the best rapper alive, and everybody agreed. Ain't nobody said nothing to him. No, to them. Them. No, no, them. No, everybody just said this. Everybody just said this. Look, look, time out, time out. Look, Pete. Look, it was I'm, different. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pete, look. I hate to break it to you, but Lil Wayne has one thing Eminem will never have, and that is a Grammy and everything else. <laughs> that don't matter. I ain't yeah, got Grammy, stupid. Look at me. Man, next conversation, man. I'm done. I'm just making your boys some boo boo. I'm done. <laughs> Because M will be the greatest rapper alive in that era. Only you will say that. Only you will say that. Even hey. the great say, yo, M is nothing to mess with. Okay, that's fine. We're not saying M is not that, but he's not Wayne in the 2000s. 
Hey, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> bro, hey, all right, all right, look, look, we can, we Man, can I see would, Yo, if they had a battle back then, M was going to win. Nah, I disagree. If they was if they was battling, them would have won. False. That's the battle you really need. Boss, boss, bar, and even false. in a versus, little way, uh, a little way would win a versus. Because after them in a versus battle, because after in a versus, after, yeah, after, after, after Eminem, after Eminem three hit. albums, I'm talking about bars. I'm talking about bars. No, there's a lot of people. Ooh. Eminem would have been like got the mannequin and the stannikin. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been on some awesome, awesome UGG shit. Lil Wayne would just been cooler, lyrical, bro. Lyrical, lyrical, Wayne lyrical, been on lyrical, bullshit lyrical, since lyrical, two. Wayne, on, Wayne been on bullshit too. Got Wayne on the blamican. What bullshit is it? <laughs> my mama like did this. My mama did that. In the Carter Five. Come on, bro. Oh, that's that's like, my mama's that's nose like on the stand. So two thousand. Your phone didn't drop the hot sixteen. That's than thirty six hours ago. That was some trash. Huh? <laughs> you the I'm bro. Whatever, whatever Eminem just dropped was hot garbage, bro. And I can't, I can't even dispute bro, that. Bro, no shit, Wayne dropping is garbage. It's, it's, it's not. No, it's, it's really not. It's really not. Did you not it's hear really his not. Verse on Benny album. Like what? I'm talking about his work. Like his yeah, work not trash. Part of his work not trash. Hey, so man, his part of five was good. That's all we did. Honestly, I hate Eminem over here dropping Kamikaze. That's your trash. I'm sorry. Eminem dropped a boo boo like. Hey, look, yo, I just, yo, that, hey, that's like, the bro, The Carter Four and the Carter Five. <laughs> Next, I said the Carter Five. The Carter Five the was Carter good. Four it was good. Nice. Are beating any Eminem album besides Relapse in the 2010s? Oh. Any Eminem besides Relapse? I ever stop because you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. You don't. I don't even know why you leave this podcast because you don't know what you're talking about. Next conversation. Next conversation. <laughs> that boy hurt his feelings. Yeah, that should have been the anchor for this conversation. No, he should have. The boat won't see. He can't carry I ain't say nothing else. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, hey, look, hey, hey, look, hey, look. That what? Is, you see how he run his label? He can't carry shit. Man, go ahead. Hey, <laughs> this is a 2000. Hey, look. All right. That's, hey, look, that's all we got for y'all today, man. Y'all definitely let us know who is better, Eminem or Wayne in the thousands. But that's all we got. Join us for our next episode, Thousands R&B, another golden era of music. And uh, see y'all soon.